Hello, welcome to this presentation. Today, I'm going to demonstrate on how to create a masonry wall fence. Welcome to this presentation once again. Now, we'll use our previous picket fence, but I mean picket fence settings, but today we are going to create a masonry wall fence. Now, we've created we've created the columns already. Now, what is it meaning for us today is to create the walls around all these columns. And our main gate is here. Now today we are going to you know we are going not to we, we are not going to use the picket the pickets for our fence creation. Today we are going to use the walls. Now to create a wall here is very simple. Our beams are already in, in place. Now what is remaining just to place our walls? Now to create a wall, we'll just go to straight to concrete, we'll come to slab, we'll snap on that spot, and not really, we'll come to slab, snap on that spot, snap on that spot, come to view, navigate, and turn this round like this. Snap on that spot and this spot and go back to your initial spot by 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 going to view come to navigate rotate with mouse rotate with mouse then you, you snap on your initial spot now if you hover your cursor on top of the beam you'll see the beam or the or, or the concrete being highlighted just double click on that come to position and bring that concrete up click front there then I'll click modify now from here we want to adjust the height of this concrete to represent our wall made of blocks or bricks but we'll work with blocks now we'll come to attributes then change this height to 25 or 2.5 which says go to modify apply and accept now this is the full height of our of our wall this is the full height of our wall we'll change that color to gray we'll give it that color color now from here we'll come we'll go to edit We'll come to surface and give it a masonry look not a concrete we'll click on that double click on this you can change the size of the hatches that uh, represent the blocks click uh, double click on it then come to pattern then uh, the pattern type you can select here our pattern type is 1, 2, and the sizes, the height, and the width of the block is adjustable here. You can change this to 200, you can change this to whatever size you want, but we are comfortable with this. I'll just go ahead and click on modify and apply. Perfect. Now from there, we want to place coppings on top of this. Now to create coppings, on, uh, we want to place coppings on top of the, of this wall. Our wall is not that high that uh, would require a beam on top. Now from, uh, for coppings, we will create copping here. We'll use these spots to create a copping. We'll come to concrete, come to slab, we'll click on that spot on that spot, this spot, that spot, this spot, and come to your initial spot. Double click on this and change that height or thickness to 600. Our coping length will be 600, apply and accept. Now we'll click on that, right click and click copy. We'll copy it right from that end. 
come to view, turn this round, rotate about that spot. We want to place our copying right on top here. Right click and click that spot. Now if you turn this round, you'll see how the copying is sitting on top of the masonry wall. We can change this color to a color of concrete. We can give it that. Perfect. Turn that wrong. Click on that. Right click and click copy. Copy from that spot to this spot. Join it with this end. Join it with this end. Join this with this end. But if you take a look, by turning this round, you'll see there is an extension into the concrete which is not really, really up to standard. We'll double click on that and trim it off. We'll trim this to 160 and click accept. Thickness is 160 and it has just disappeared. Double click on that. Like 200. And do that. Drag this. That's not the best way. And do that. And do that. And do that. Double click on this again. Press Control 2. Double click on this. Give it, shorten this by 160 and click OK. Apply and accept. Now click on this. Right click and click Move. From that spot to this spot. Then click Control 4 to bring you back where you were before. Now if you go to Navigate, Rotate with Mouse, is not really touching the column. Double click on that and, cre and increase that extension to 200 and click OK. Apply and accept. Right click and click move from this spot to that spot. Perfect. Navigate, rotate with mouse and turn this round like this. Now, we don't need this now. We just click on that and delete, right click and redraw. Turn this round like this. Remember to save your work. And having done that, we want to change the color of our columns. Now, we'll just click on that. Just click on, on individual columns and change the color. Let's right click, click on it, then come to this cube and change the color like that. Change that color. Click that. Click that, click that, and click that. Then come to that color and change that. We are forgetting the curves, column curves. Click on that. Press Control and click on that. You just go on modifying the, those colors properly. Or instead of wasting time here, we'll just highlight everything here. Just highlight. 
just highlight everything and click delete just highlight and click delete click delete just highlight and click delete highlight and click delete perfect highlight press control and highlight highlight press control and highlight and delete all this I will come here and pick that right click and click copy copy this from this spot to this spot let's go on and do the same thing like that let's place that one there place another one there and place another one here perfect we'll do the same thing here do the same thing there just highlight everything there let's go on highlight right click and delete then come and pick this right click and, co and pick copy pick it from that spot bring it here and place another one there another one there just continue like that and place another one there and place another one there perfect now we want to finalize this end we need to copy another uh, column here right click and click copy from here to here now we will embark on this masonry wall just highlight everything there click that and click this and that one and click copy from that spot to this spot and to that spot let's continue like that our wall is coming neatly and place it there there's another one there there's another one there, another one there. Now this is our wall. If you turn this round like this, you'll see it's a nice masonry wall made in Tekla or modeled by Tekla. Now if you turn this round again, you can do a similar thing on this end. We can we can switch back to our plan view and delete everything on this end we'll highlight everything on this end Let's switch back to our, our plan view and check whether what we've done is right. Press control and select this and that and that. Come here and do the same thing. Pick that and that and that. Then switch back to your plan view. Right click and click special copy mirror. Now prior to invoking a mirror command make sure you are you are on the exact midpoint and you are on exact axis now before invoking any mirror command we'll make sure everything starting from the midpoint we'll come to edit points and pick online we want a midpoint from that spot to this spot 
click OK, right click and interrupt. Now we want to trace that midpoint here. This is the midpoint. This is the midpoint at 11. Now, since our selection is still active, we'll just go ahead and right click and click special copy and mirror. Then come at 11 here, at this point exactly. Snap right there, and run all the way, maybe to another point here. And snap right there and click copy go ahead and accept and zoom out now if you switch back to your isometric view to confirm what you've done you'll be able to see that we've created this navigate and turn this round like this turn this round and turn like that we'll go ahead and and fill this part finish off this point right click copy this somewhere here somewhere there then double click on this and bring this to 200 apply and accept and then press ctrl 2 right click and click move from that spot to this spot press ctrl 4 back to navigate and turn this round like this this is our wall fence we just made right now. Now we'll do a similar thing on, on this end. We'll do a similar thing on this end. We'll click on this and change that, that color to masonry color or concrete color. change that to concrete or concrete color that, that's it click that cancel that We'll just select everything here instead of changing the colors manually. It'll take a little bit of time, and uh, time is what we're really running, running against. Now, click on that, select and delete that, select and delete this, highlight and delete, highlight and delete, highlight and delete this. Highlight and delete that. Select and delete. That one will change individually. Click that and change that color. Click, right click. Don't right click, just click on the cube. And you will be able to change that color like that. Perfect. Now pick on this. Right click and click copy. From that spot to that spot. To that spot. To that spot. And that spot. And this spot. Now we'll go ahead and pick this again with copying with the column cap. Then pick it from this spot and place it here. 
place another one here place another one here place another one here another one there another one there and another one here perfect now we'll come to wall here and bring it down here now navigate again and turn this round we want to extend this by some measurements now come to edit come to measure snap at the bottom there and snap at the bottom here that is 2293 not accurate at the bottom there and at the bottom here 2600 now double click on this come to position attributes then you can drag this to that end and come to view navigate and turn this round like this it does not reach perfectly double click on this come to position you can adjust this by 200 by 100 Sixty-five. Perfect. Navigate, turn this round like this. Now we'll come to edit, cut by part cut to be cut is this and the cutting part is that now come to view to check the concrete we've cut now we'll go straight to that we'll come to slab we'll snap right on top of that and on top of that then come to view come to navigate rotate with mouse and click about that spot right click and snap on the third spot and run back to your initial spot click that and turn it round right click and snap right there if you hover your cursor if you hover your cursor on top of this beam you'll be able to see you've created a concrete but is taking the size of the beam double click on it come to position and come to front apply that then give it that height of 2.5 apply and accept now if you come to edit if you come to edit if you come to edit you come to surface and pick that and snap right there or select that that's much better we'll do the same thing here by creating the wall We'll come to edit and pick cut. We want to cut this and that. Perfect. We'll come to concrete and pick slab. We'll snap on that on that spot and that spot. Come to view. Come to navigate. Rotate with the mouse and rotate about that spot. Right click and snap on the on that spot and this spot. Turn this round like this, right click and snap right here. Wall is not accurate and do that. Check the reason. Reason being our beam is not straight. We'll delete this, right click. And delete P 
pick that, right click and click copy, copy it from this spot, not really, copy it from this spot, from that spot to this spot. Now we'll come to navigate, turn this round like this, double click on that, come to position and change this measurement. 300 400 500 apply and accept now we can come to edit part cut we want to cut this part with that now if you come to view and turn this round like this you see you've done something quite neat now come back to concrete slab pick that spot and pick that spot come to view come to navigate rotate with mouse and rotate that spot snap right there snap right here come to navigate rotate with mouse and pick the rotating or the point to rotate your model about then we snap here we've created our wall now we'll come to edit we'll come to surfaces and pick that perfect now we'll come to view turn this round like this neatly done neatly done now we'll come to this, click copy, copy it from that spot to this spot, pick this, work plane tool, we place our work plane tool on top there and pick and place it there, Y and X axis. Now we'll pick on this, right click and come to special copy and rotate, we'll use our 90 around the Z axis and just go ahead and click copy and click OK. Now we don't need this, we delete that, we'll pick this, pick copy, we'll copy it from that spot, from this spot right there and come to navigate, turn this round like this. And place it right on that spot. Now if you go to navigate and turn this round like this, this is perfect. We'll delete this now. It has no use. We'll pick this, right click and click copy from that position to this position. To this position. Come to navigate and turn this round. Come to edit. At the cutting part, we want to cut that. Click on that copying. Pick that. Snap right there. Snap right there. Now we'll pick on that. Come to view and turn this round like this. We want to reach the bottom end here. Right click and click move that spot we want that midpoint then come to navigate and turn this round like this we want to move to this midpoint now we'll select that click copy from that spot to this spot to that spot and to this spot and to that spot and come to navigate and turn this round like this. There is an extension into the con column concrete. We can cut that using part. Cut that using part cut. Come to navigate, 
connect it with mouse and turn this round like this. Now from here we want to highlight everything and move one go. Pick that, pick that and pick this. And pick everything here. Right click and click copy. Now copy it from this spot to that spot to that spot to that spot. Just continue all the way to the very end. Just move on and place another one there. Place another one here. Place another one here. There's another one here. Let's move on like that. Probably the end of that. Now, if you come to navigate and turn this round, you'll see you've created a very neat wall fence. Now, you can go ahead and delete everything on this end. Just delete everything on that end. Just delete. Just delete. Want to create a neat one. Just delete that and delete that. Change this. Pick this and change. There's a duplicate there, delete. Change this color to that concrete color and that also. Give it that color. Now from here it's quite simple. We'll just sit back to our plan view. and highlight everything here. Press control and highlight that. Then right click, click copy. From that spot To this spot. Right click and accept that. Now if you come to na navigate under view and turn this mouse, you will be able to pick this. You will be able to get rid of this. get rid of this come to navigate and turn this round like this then highlight everything like that press control and pick this press control and pick that and this once you've done that just go ahead and right click, click copy from this spot to that spot to this spot and that spot that spot that spot, that spot, and prior to going on, check whether you're doing the right thing and move to this spot. Here, there's another one there, and another one here. 
the other one here but you want to be will not be accurate come to view turn this round like this This is not accurate, we'll delete this, delete that, don't expand, delete that, and delete this. Come to navigate, turn this round like this. To check whether what you've done is right, and come to navigate, turn this round like this. Now, we want to confirm this measurement in order to finalize with the part remaining. We'll snap there and get that measurement. Now, we'll highlight everything here. Press Ctrl, highlight that, highlight that, this and that. And this right click and click special copy mirror and linear a special copy come to linear check your axis you want y axis three meters you want how many of these you want three of them three and click copy it is in the wrong direction negative click copy delete duplicates four click copy delete duplicates now click click ok Or similar thing can be done we can get rid of this get rid of that and get rid of this footing and just drag this all the way to this end and do this delete this and see whether it can be adjusted in the appropriate manner so we can just do that we can do that drag this and place it right there place it right there then come on the other end and do a similar thing right click click right there and drag it somewhere there Press control and make sure you snap accurately. Snap right there. Turn this round like this. And we'll come to edit and pick surface and pick surface and place surface there. Come to view navigate and turn this round like this pick that right click click copy from this spot to that spot and to that spot and come to edit pick cut we want to cut this part by that part right click and redraw no not uh, not redraw interrupt We'll delete some duplicates here. Let's take a look at it. Turn this sound like this.
come to navigate and turn this round. Perfect. Switch back to elevation view. This is what you see. Now from here we can place our footings, which it seems we forgot. Pick it from that spot and place it there. Switch back to isometric view. Come to navigate. Turn this round. Perfect. Plan view this is what you see from top. And this is what you'll see on your plan view. Switch back to isometric. This is what you see exactly. Perfect. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe for more videos to come on Tecla Structures. Thank you. I'm Morris Dimba and let's meet on the next presentation and bye bye.